All right, in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at what to do when your kidney fails. And you can see this diagram here is your arm with some tubes stuck into it to actually be able to take your blood out of your body. So all of your blood actually leaves your body, not in one go, of course, because it's flowing around and coming back through. This is basically a diagram of a dialysis machine with a general idea of how your blood is going to flow out through here. And it flows through a tube, but it goes through this liquid uh, that doesn't mix with the blood, but it's called the dialysate. And this liquid is a specially generated concentration mixture of materials to allow for really fancy diffusion to take place in two directions. So you want to get stuff into the blood that you need and then get stuff out of the blood that the kidney is supposed to uh, take out. And then here you have kind of the used dialysate being kind of uh, dumped out and then fresh dialysate going into here to make sure to keep these concentration gradients steady so that you can continue with the flow of molecules in the right direction either into the blood or away from the blood so here's a quick overview hemodialysis is the fancy name for this kind of uh, dialysis machine treatment basically what you're trying to do is you're pulling the blood from your veins and it flows next to this liquid that i call the dialysate basically it's a semi-permeable membrane between the, your blood and the dialysate so molecules can diffuse across so here are some features of this liquid dialysis and the reasons why. So obviously it has no urea, so the urea is going to go down a concentration gradient from your blood, which your kidney is trying to get rid of anyways, and it's going out of the blood and going into the fluid. It has the ideal concentrations of glucose and other types of metabolites, amino acids, things that you actually need um, to be maintained in the blood so that you don't lose a lot of those things and helps to keep the balance if you're low on those. Um, it has high calcium and low potassium. So obviously if it has lower potassium, then that's going to allow potassium to leave from the blood and go into the dialysate. If it has high calcium, it's going to add calcium to the blood because calcium is going to flow uh, down its concentration gradient. Um, you have hydrogen carbonate ions to help reduce the blood's acidity and the total solute concentration, which causes excess water to be removed from the blood. So remember that water moves by osmosis towards saltier areas, or you could say that water is moving from a lower solute concentration to a higher solute concentration. That confuses people a lot. Just remember water moves to where it's more salty. So if this dialysate liquid out here, uh, if we go back to our previous diagram, if the dialysate out here actually contains more salt, then water from your blood is actually going to go to the salty areas and enter the dialysate to remove any excess water that's there. And then finally, if all else fails, um, or you can be on a waiting list for kidney transplants, you can try to get a brand new kidney. Of course, you need to be looking for a particular match, so you have to have the same blood group so that your tissues can match closely and that your body is not trying to kill off the cells from this kidney uh, that's been donated to you. So the kidney is grafted to the renal artery and vein so that everything can actually be connected up properly and the ureter is actually connected so that the contents that are produced by the kidney can be emptied into the bladder so that you can go and urinate it out. This doesn't sound like a very mm, nice thing to have to go through but this is one of the great things about understanding our own biology is that we can prolong life by understanding what the actual function of the kidney is and then try to be able to create kind of a, uh, a solution to help keep people alive. So take care of your kidneys, people, and your liver. You know what I'm talking about.